Hello Logos and Canvas learners. In this video, I will be showing you how to create modules for a Canvas course. Before we start, let's answer the what and the why. Modules is one of those Canvas specific terms, but essentially, a module houses your instructional materials for a unit of study. So, for example, in science, you might have seven units of study that you cover over the course of a year. So in Canvas, you would create seven modules and name them to match those same seven science units. Or you could create weekly modules. In this case, each module would house the instructional materials and assignments that you needed for that specific week. So really the only difference there is what you choose to put into the module. It could be an entire unit or it could be a smaller weekly breakdown. That part is um, your, between you and your team or you and yourself. But the way you build a module is the same no matter what you choose. So let's look at that. Um, you'll notice that I'm on the default homepage. There is nothing in this course. There's no content. I have not added anything. So this is a brand new empty blank slate course. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by hitting this plus module sign. This It's navy. It's kind of on the right upper side of my page. Um, has a plus sign and then the word module. So plus module. I'm going to click that and this box is going to pop up and it's going to ask me to enter a name. So I'm going to stick with my science example here and I'm going to say unit one atoms and then I'm going to say add module. That's it. That's all there is to it as far as adding a module goes. Now there's no content in this module. Right now it is empty. But that's okay because we haven't gotten to that point yet. So for this step in your progress, all you're doing is adding modules. So I'm going to go ahead and add another one. Do the same steps plus module and give it a name. Unit 2, chemical reactions. And then say add module. And just keep on going until I've built all of my modules that I need for the year. But I'm going to spell them right. And here's another one. So forth. Now you'll note, I'm not going to teach geology until the spring semester. But the module's here. It's just empty and it's unpublished. I'm just doing this right now to show you that you could build all of these modules now if you wanted to, or you could wait and build them as you need them. That part is up to you, but the step is the same. Hit the plus module button, give it a name, say add module. So those are full unit overviews. If I was building this way, I would put all my content for the entire unit underneath this module. Um, if I was doing a weekly one, I would do the same thing. I would say plus module. But this time, I would give it a more specific name, as in week one. I might include the dates, so 511 through 515, and year first. So in this case, my module, or my unit of study is the universe, but this module is only going to house the materials for week one. So all the instructional materials and assignments that I need for just week one would go under here. And then I would do the same thing for week two. I would give it dates again. Dates are just, that's optional, but um, as far as organization, that, that can be helpful for both you and your students when you're, when you're looking things over. But I do encourage you to be as specific as possible. Just saying week one, week two, week three, that can be confusing to students. And certainly one, two, three, four would be very confusing and doesn't give them any context as to what the module is covering. So now I have examples of both entire unit modules and weekly modules. To recap, I hit the plus module button, gave it a name, and then said add module. Please note these modules are not published. You can tell because of this gray circle. A published module will have a green check mark. You must publish modules for students to be able to see the content that lives in those modules. It will stay unpublished until you publish it. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me or any other member of the Digital Learning Services Department. We'd be happy to help support you. Thank you.